Okay guys, the question for today is how does it come that there is a huge price difference between video games being sold at CEX Netherlands and CEX UK? Well, hopefully I'm gonna find out in this video. Let's check it out. Now the price difference is mainly in the PlayStation 3 games, but also in various DS games. In the Netherlands I buy a lot of PlayStation 3 games that I flip at CEX for profit. The games that I'm about to show you with a large price difference are actually also the games that I never come across in a lot that I buy in the Netherlands. Is that because they are expensive in the Netherlands and most sellers know that? Or is it just coincidence? Anyway, I still need these games for my PlayStation 3 collection. And if I buy the games secondhand from the Dutch marketplace, they're even more expensive than what I pay right now at CEX England. So of course, I'm gonna make my move right away. Here we have the PlayStation 3 section. And hopefully we can find some underpriced games. Well, underpriced, they're cheaper in the Netherlands. Uh, well, the other way around. They're more expensive in the Netherlands. Here, they're cheap. Um, I'm looking for Captain America. Ah. In America. 22 pounds. And this game... I think this one is being sold at CX for around 50 euros? 50-ish? Something, yeah. We're gonna take this. And yeah, I see another one. That cool. 15 pounds. And this one is being sold at CX for around 30 euros, I think. <laughs> so what else can we find here? Get Mary. 25. This one in the Netherlands is also 50 euros. Eight quid. Yeah, it's strange that a lot of games, PlayStation 3 games in the UK, are cheaper than in the Netherlands. Okay, so we found two of them. I also wanted the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, but that one has a cover reprint, so that's too bad. Here we have it, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. 20 pounds, and I think this one in the Netherlands is 40 to 50 euros. That's crazy price difference, man. So yeah, I'm gonna take it with us. It's complete with manual, so let's go. Take that one too. Now we've already seen some remarkable price differences. Now I've asked the most dedicated video game hunter of Britain what he thinks where this price difference is coming from. So Ed, there's a question that I need you to answer. Yes sir. Not only for me but also for you. How come that a lot of games, like DS games, mm -hmm. they're so cheap here? Double the price in the Netherlands. I would say it's a print run. More than likely, over well, in the UK, Pokemon games normally have like a really large print run. If Pokemon game first comes out, there'll be loads and loads of copies of them available. So I assume that's why they're more plentiful and a little bit cheaper in this country. But and a fifty percent difference. Yeah, that's a lot. I mean, I'm guessing in you know in the Netherlands, like there isn't as many uh, Pokemon games that are being released as there is in the UK. Yeah, here we have. Another one, Spyro, Dawn of the Dragon, for 22 bucks. I think this one is 40 or 50 in the Netherlands. Yep. So for 22, I'm gonna take it with me. And here we have one. Turtles Manhattan, 
15 pounds. This one is also about double this amount in the Netherlands. So this is all also a nice find. Here we have one that's about 50 euros in the Netherlands and here it's 32 pounds so that's a nice one to add let's see what they have else This game I ordered at CX um, Netherlands online for only 8 euros. Here it's 25 quid. <laughs> That's a hell of a difference. I was also on the lookout for this game, but cover reprinted, man. That's a bummer. In the Netherlands this game is twice as much, so 15 pounds for the amazing Spider-Man is an amazing price. But a reprinted cover, that's shit. Here we have it man, amazing Spider-Man. 15 quid. I'll take that one with me. Now look at this guys, we finally found it. Pokemon White version 2 for only 80 quid. In the Netherlands this game is around 170, 180 ish. So 80 quid for Pokemon White version 2. Complete in the box, that's amazing. Now I've showed you guys about 10 different PlayStation 3 titles that you can benefit from. Be it for your own collection or just simply to flip these games in the Netherlands to make some money. Well, and I bet if I search any further, even more games will come up. Well, and as always guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, then please drop a like, leave a comment down below, consider subscribing, and I hope to see you guys on the next.